You need the brain. Yeah. So, so you, need the, you need a brain and you need the cognitive self to experience the bliss that comes with a perfect meditation where you've cleared your mind, you're tapping into pure awareness, you've gone non-local. The mistake is to believe, oh, now I don't have any brain activity. Uh-uh-uh. You can't do it without a brain. It's, the brain is always going to be the projector. It's always, it's always making the movie. Okay? But that doesn't mean, just like when you project a movie, it doesn't mean that the movie exists inside the projector. Right? Just like when you hear music on the radio, you hear the, um, a band playing on the radio, the band's not in the radio. But we're happy to say that the experiences and the memories are in the brain. The, the, you know, if you have a, um, a recorder, you record and then you play it back. That's what, that's what the, or if it's a projector, you, you play a film through it. It's the transceiver and the receiver both at once. But even the most sublime feelings of unity, oneness with the universe, tapping into being just pure awareness, being aware of awareness, all the things we strive for when we meditate. You need a brain to experience it. So sometimes when people say to me, don't you think in Alzheimer's they must be really happy living in the moment? I'm like, well, well no, because they don't know they're living in the moment. You still have to know, you still have to be aware of the beautiful gifts that pure awareness bring you. And that's probably why we're born. It's why there's a universe. It's why there's consciousness. Pure awareness, God, everything, existence, can only do one thing, be aware. It can only be aware of one thing, itself. So all of this is just an amazing amount of feedback loops of pure awareness being aware of itself. And as soon as that awareness takes an object within itself to be aware of, you create consciousness. And of course, it seems like a subject-object split, but it's not because the only thing pure awareness can be aware of is itself. So it's all one loop. So you, so you, you substitute subject-object with a loop of awareness looking back at itself. And we, get, and we are a higher ordered structure assembly of consciousness, a colony of bacteria and human cells that have come together as one way to create a universe of consciousness that is a result of that pure awareness being aware of itself. We're just one.